Hey there, Social Blade fans, Dave here yet again for another YouTube tip of the week. This week we're looking at annotations, those on-screen markers and notices and text links that you can actually link to other things like other videos or a subscribe button. So let's look at starting at how to actually set up a annotation. You're going to go to your video manager. This can be done at the top by the upload button. Just choose your video manager link there. And once you've chosen a video, you can go into the advanced settings. There's actually an annotation link there. So let's look into the annotations that are available. Of course, we got speech bubble. We've got a notice. We got title, a spotlight, or a label. These all sort of do the same thing. They just look slightly different. We're going to choose the spotlight here. And you'll notice, hey, it actually says what time you want this to start at and end at. So we can sort of trim that up. And so we're going to do that right there. And if you look at the bottom section of the settings here, we can actually choose different colors, fonts, choices, and the ability to put a link to a video or anything linked on YouTube, pretty much, including a subscribe button. So what we've got here is we're going to put a spotlight at the end of this video, and it's going to link to a subscribe page or whatever. So when people click this, they're going to actually subscribe to your channel. It's a fantastic thing to do. I highly recommend you guys do this. Another thing you can actually do is a link to an external website. This external website has to be associated with Google and all that. So it has to be your own website. You got to put some code in there and validate it. But if you have a website like Sociably does, it's a fantastic thing to do. So I highly recommend setting that up. It's always great to drive attention away from a site that could actually disappear in years from now and have them go to a main website where you're hosting all your stuff as a backup. Now, annotations are not only just for subscribe buttons and external websites, but you can actually use these quite tastefully in things like playlist where you can go jumping back or forward between videos. So maybe you have a playlist of videos you can have put in the top right, not only your subscribe button, but the next and previous videos. And a lot of people do that. I highly recommend looking into that. So that is pretty much a quick look at the little annotation menus and settings that you guys can do when it comes to YouTube. And I highly recommend you guys look into these because they could be very useful to grow your channel here at YouTube. I'm Dave, and this has been another YouTube tip of the week. If you guys haven't done so already, subscribe because we got more tips coming next week. And you can always find Social Blade on all the social media websites. And if you have any thoughts about this video or previous videos, put a uh, little thought in the comments below. Or if you want to uh, post a video response, and I'm improving those if they are relevant enough. I'm Dave, and this has been another YouTube Tip of the Week. See you next week.